next we are going to do a practical exercise on creating a storage blob for this you will come to the learn.microsoft.com and as you know we are in this module describe azure storage services scroll down and you would find here exercise i am going to click on this exercise now let's wait for a minute now it is asking me to verify your account i am going to click on start puzzle it is asking me to select three rocks let me find it's four rocks three rocks okay this is correct and i'm going to submit okay verification complete now wait for few moments while it is assigning me a sandbox all right looks like the sandbox has been activated time remaining 1 hr let's wait for a moment okay so once this is done so terminal succeeded connecting to terminal all right now you can see everything is done now my sandbox is activated now what should we do next we just have to follow the steps here one by one okay let's do it together in this task you will create a new storage account the very first thing is you have to create a storage account so all that we have learned so far we are going to apply it here first one sign in to azure portal at this one so let me go into control and hit on this so it opens in a new tab so portal.azure.com all right now once i am here the next step is select create a resource create a resource so i am going to click on create a resource all right and then it is telling me under categories select storage so where is the category here you see categories under this you have to look for something called storage you see it is here storage i am going to click on storage after that it is telling me under storage account select create so under storage account you have to click on create okay so come here and look for storage account so where do you see storage account so here you see the storage account the second one here i need to click on create okay let's wait for a moment so now you see create a storage account window has appeared let's read this slightly in detail azure storage is a microsoft managed service providing cloud storage that is highly available secure durable scalable and redundant that all that theory we have read azure storage includes azure blobs azure data lake storage gen2 azure files azure queues azure tables all this in detail we have learnt in the previous video the cost of your storage account depends on usage and the option you choose below so the cost of your storage account depends on the usage and the and the options that you choose below so let's see what are the things we have to do in this exercise okay project details select the subscription in which to create a new storage account choose a new or existing resource group to organize and manage so first of all you know it's a consist subscription that means for learning purpose so you only have one subscription you will have to select it resource group it is automatically assigned to as when we are go for a learning sandbox so this two remains as it is for you so let's follow go back to the documentation on the basic tab of the create storage account blade fill in the following information leave the default for everything else so we have to fill the following information and leave default for the rest of the things so basic tab what is the basic tab so here i, I am in the basic tab do you see this is the basic tab and here i have to fill the options the first thing it is asking me setting and value so in the subscription you have to select consist subscription that we have done it okay second resource group i have to select the resource group that is available which we have done it here all right next storage account name create a unique storage account name so i can create my own name so here i would say uh, storage account name i'll just uh, give some name automate with rakesh uh, okay uh, the field can contain only 
लोअर केस लेटर्स एंड नंबर्स सी लुक एट दी केस सेंसिटिविटी सो आई एम गोइंग टू से ऑटोमेट विथ राकेश ओके सो इट हैज एक्सेप्टेड सो दिस इज माय स्टोरेज अकाउंट सो बिकॉज इज स्टोरेज अकाउंट आई विल सिंपली से एस ए हाइफ स्टोरेज अकाउंट ऑटोमेट विथ राकेश हाइफ इट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग सो एस ए ऑटोमेट विथ राकेश क्लियर सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ स्टोरेज अकाउंट ऑटोमेट विथ राकेश ग्रेट रीजन लीव डिफॉल्ट so region i am going to leave it as west us no, no need to change it next uh, uh, performance i have to click click on standard so here primary service you uh, leave as it is okay you don't touch this leave it performance i will select standard okay done redundancy locally redundant or lrs so lrs means what you remember lrs means in one for example the data center is there in electronic city so locally redundant so in three devices my data will be there in the same data center geo redundant grs all these terms we have learned so here i am going to select lrs okay and primary service so here you see different services are there azure blob storage azure files uh, tables and all these things are there okay so this is how you select your services so if i select azure files it is for network sharing you know it tables is a no sql blob means i can store my uh, videos audios and things like that any different kind of data you can store by selecting azure blob so now let's go go to the instructions okay on the advanced tab so now what we did we did not select anything here okay we are leaving everything blank here now i have to go to the advanced tab on the advanced tab of the create a storage account blade fill in the following information leave the default for everything else settings allow enabling anonymous access on individual containers checked okay allow enabling anonymous access on individual containers this should be checked that's all you have to do here rest of the things you have to leave it as it is enable storage account key as it is require secure transfer of rest api these are the you know default options leave it as it is minimum tls version all this you leave as it is no need to select anything at this moment okay all right now this we have selected select review to review your storage account settings and allow azure to validate the configuration so now i have to select the review so i'll click on review okay here is the button review validation is in progress okay uh, basics consist account all those in uh, uh, the service um, the storage account automate with rakesh standard locally redundant lrs i have selected uh, all this has automatically appeared for me networking public endpoint okay so leave it as it is now let's follow back select the review to review your storage account settings and allow azure to validate the configuration so the validation is done by azure once validated select create wait for the notification that the account was successfully created so all i have to do here is click on create once again let's see what are the steps we have done we went to basic select Selected subscription, selected resource group, given a name to st our storage account, region we left it as it is, performance we have selected, standard redundancy we have selected, A ARS okay, uh, LRS, and then we went to advanced and the advanced we have just checked the allow enabling anonymous access to individual containers. That's all you have done, and then we have clicked on review and create. So the review was done. Okay, just wait for a second. It will validate, validate, and then I have to hit on. create pretty simple steps okay now here you can see in the notification initializing deployment submitting deployment so i am creating a account storage account okay that's all is happening in the back end deployment in progress deployment to resource group okay in progress you can see it is creating a storage account okay let's wait So finally, you will see a message called "Account was successfully created." Okay, until then we have to wait. Something is happening here. Okay, now you can see it has changed itself to "Deployment succeeded." Your deployment is complete. Let's go back to the exercise. Select 
go to resource okay so here you are saying select go to resource once it is done there is a button here called go to resource let me click on it okay so th now the resource group is this subscription is this um, uh, disk state is available okay and uh, provisioning state is succeeded account kind is storage version 2 okay so uh, the blob services i have and couple of other things i have okay now let's follow back the documentation work with blob storage now i have to work with blob storage in this section you will create a blob container and upload a picture what you have to do you have to upload a picture click create a blob container and upload a picture for that under data storage select containers so under data storage you have to select containers let's go back so here you see data storage and then i have to click on containers okay i'm going to close this notification so now i have clicked on containers and now you see there is a log available at the moment all right and then select plus container and complete the information so i have to click on plus container this one and then i have to fill the information now during the learning you have to just follow the instructions that is there in the don't do on your own because few things this is not the right time for you to do it so you have to follow the steps here i have to give a name enter a name for the container okay so i'll provide a container name so i will say uh, so it's a container so i'll say container so it's not accepting i have to only go with lower case container uh, automate with rakesh okay so i have given a container name very good anonymous access level private no anonymous access okay so here you have to select it's already private leave it next select create note step 4 will need an image if you want to upload an image you already have on your computer continue to step 4 otherwise open a new browser window and search bing for an image for a flower so oh, i have few images not a problem so i'm going to click on new container and i'm going to hit on create so what we did so far we opened we came to the um, storage account we clicked on data storage we clicked on container and we clicked on plus container gave a name and now the container is got created so once the container is created what it is saying you should have an image on your computer so i have few images back in the azure portal select the container you created then select upload so all i have to do this is the storage container i have created i am going to click on this container and then do you see there is a upload button here i am going to hit on upload okay drag and drop a file or browse for file so i have a file i'll just uh, put something here okay open okay and i'm going to hit on okay, upload so now before that browse for the image file you want to upload select it and then select upload okay then you have to select upload so let me hit on upload okay uploading onto the blob successfully uploaded the uploaded blob uh, okay binary large object you learned yesterday right b b stands for binary l stands for large object so i uploaded an image you can upload a video and other things can be done so right now the access style if you see it's hot hot inferred hot means that image is required for my website home page for example and that i would be used that would be active every time anybody opens it the data should be active so that's why if you see the access tire given is hot all right so select the blob file you just uploaded you should be um, on the property step so what happened browse the image select it and then select upload so this we have done it you can upload as many blobs as you like in this way now blobs will be listed within the container so now you see the image that we have uploaded in the same container this is the container i have created so inside the container whatever data that i'm going to upload it will be listed here let's say i'm uploading a video it will be listed here i'll upload another image it will get listed here getting it so let's try one more okay upload uh, browse for files and let me upload one more um, you know image and i'm going to click on upload okay now you can see it got uploaded so png file now like this you can keep on trying okay that's fine 
Select the blob file you just uploaded. You should be on the property tab. Now, for example, if I click on the uh, this one, okay, you can see the entire property is coming. This is one way or else uh, let me try this way. I'm going to select the moment you select you. That means when you click on it, you see the property last modified this much. It is there. So this is your URL. You see um, service uh, storage account URL. So if I copy this, try to open this. The XML file does not appear to have any style information. Okay. For the moment, we will leave it as it is. Now you can see the URL last modified created time um, blob size is 1.2 MB uh, image. It's an image kind. So it has got all different properties. Okay. Very good. Copy the URL from the URL field in the and paste it into a new tab. You should receive an error message similar to the following. If you see the moment I tried that the URL. Control V, enter. This XML file does not appear to have error resource not found. The specified resource does not exist. Request ID, this, 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 this is the error we have got. Exactly, yeah. Same error we have received. Change the access level of your blob. So for that, what they are saying, you have to change the access level of your blob. Binary large object, okay. Go back to Azure portal. Select change access level. Okay, so I'll go back to the Azure portal and change access level. So let's do that. I'll go back. And here, so I'm inside the container. Do you see? I'm inside the container where my files are there. So here I'm going to click, click on change access level. Here, if you see select a change access level, set the anonymous access level to blob. So we have kept it private. So it, it was not able to, I am not, I was not able to access it through the internet, through the browser. Now they are saying what you do, change from private to blob, anonymous read access for blobs only. Anonymous, this is all I have to do. So all I will do here, I'll cancel it once again. No need to select anything. Simply go and click on change access level. And here I'm going to select blob, anonymous read access for blobs only. This is what they want me to select, okay? Um, uh, blob anonymous read access level to blob only. So once you have selected, select OK. Refresh the tab where you attempted to access the file earlier. Okay. So now I'm going to click on OK. Changing the access level. You see, it got a tick mark. Now I'll go here. I'm going to refresh it. Now you can see the image which has I have uploaded into Azure is now appearing through my internet. So if I pass this link to anyone. You can see this is coming. Now let's try for the other image. Um, which one I had opened last time? Okay, let me try this. Okay, so you can see the second image is also appearing perfectly fine for me. So all this is happening from a storage account of Azure. Great. Congratulations. You have completed this exercise. You created a storage account added a container to the storage account. So once you have created a storage account, what you did, you created a container. And then inside the container, I have uploaded the files. Then you change the access level so you could access your file from internet. So all this we have, we have seen. Now the cleanup will happen automatically. All I have to do, simply close the browser tabs. So thank you for watching. Let's proceed to our next topic.